everybody, it's Cellist Wendy Law. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about how to play the swan. So I just wanted to give you some tips and tricks. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe right now and click that little bell button so that you'll be notified of future videos. Obviously, I can't literally teach you like note by note how to play the swan. And if you want to watch a video of me playing it, I will link a video of me playing it. <laughs> so check it out. And also the link is down below in the description. But I will talk about a few key things that will make playing the swan much easier and things to think about and to practice. So the first thing is vibrato. vibrato. Now I've made a video about vibrato so if you want to see that video on how to vibrate you can go watch it but this is obviously for uh, more advanced players who already know how to vibrate. The key to making this piece sound natural is continuous vibrato. So you really want to maybe sometimes practice the piece without the bow and practice continuous vibrato and also really listen for that vibrato and make sure that it sounds natural. You don't want it to be too fast. If it's too fast, it sounds like this. Right, that's, that's not natural. If it's too slow. That doesn't sound right either, right? Or if it's too wide, I'm obviously exaggerating. Nobody plays like that. Or too narrow. So you get the idea. You have to find the right combination of how wide your wonder vibrato is or how narrow and also when you want it to be narrow or wide because it should be continuous but it should not always be the same. It has to go with the phrasing. So that's where the listening comes in. And the purpose of vibrato is really to imitate the human voice. It should sound natural. It should not sound like it's like, uh, uh, like this, right? It should sound like as if somebody were to sing it. And a natural human voice has a natural up and down vibrato like that. So that's very natural. So try it out. Listen very carefully. So first practice without the bow so that you're always vibrating and also at a speed that you like and then listen for feedback. How much you want, how wide. And listen and make adjustments. It's all about making adjustments. At the end of the day, your teacher can only teach you the skills teach you however much they can but at the end of the day you make the adjustments to make it sound better so here so that's a pretty good for bottom also and it's continuous and just try to make it sound nice make sure you have a nice sound you don't want it to be too squeezed to be soft. So the piano accompaniment goes da 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 That's just like the lake, right? It really kind of had that imagination. Very nice and very beautiful day with the sun. There is a beautiful swan just swimming on top, gliding, not even swimming, gliding. So that's where you're at. You need to give that illusion through music, that imagery. So how do you do that? A beautiful sound. Don't press too hard, not too loud, so adjust your sound, find the right sound first, and once you find the right sound, then you keep going with that continuous vibrato. Now, another thing is, you must breathe. I, I find that people just go, they don't breathe before the first phrase, you must breathe. So really try that with me a few times if you have your trouble with you. Is is take a deep breath and then when you are exhaling, that's your first note because that's how you want to feel. See how that's different? If you're holding your breath, see how it sounds completely different. It, there, there really is something to it. It's not like musicians don't breathe in and out for no reason. There is a reason. So practice. 
practice it until it sounds smooth. Now this shift. When you shift here to from F sharp to B, lighten up your hand, or rather, lighten up lighten up your bow. Otherwise, it sounds like that, right? Lighten up your bow when you are shifting. Lighten up slightly, and then you hit the B. So, again, we breathe. Find the right vibrato and the right sound, the right contact on the bow, the right speed, and the right pressure. And we go. Breathe. that's important is don't think every note da, 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 da. no you're in trouble so the tempo shouldn't be too too slow either think about the piano accompaniment like the water and then play on like one butt cheek so that you're feeling that feeling of the entire phrase going from here all the way here. So like this. Keep going, don't settle on every note. Keep going, keep going the sound and phrase. And maybe take a tiny breath here, but don't let the phrase die either. So when you're on one side of your body, automatically, well, you can do that for practice. You don't have to do it during performance. But this gives you the idea of that kind of feeling. Oh, you can't see my other arm. That kind of feeling. And don't let the phrase die. And then that's the end of the phrase. So you have to have that suspended feeling. That's what it is. Portanto, portato, you know what I mean, where you go, you want to do that, Sus really sustain that bow, it doesn't mean to press hard, but sustain. Take 
another bow here, make sure it does like a crescendo. So what you can do, fingers and then back, uh, back down dynamically, and then at the end, after you shift your bow, crescendo. you can really shake holding the bow for so long so you need to practice some long bows for this just without the left hand practice long and beautiful tone and hold it for as long as you can uh, I used to practice this all the time long long bow and see if I can always outbeat myself for more than a minute or two or however long I was able to hold it so up bow also that's actually more challenging see so your body will figure out a way to hold the bow so that it can keep going and moving, right? Okay, so very important. And then of course there are bow changes and shifts. How do you accurately shift? My advice is, this is how I shift personally, and people may disagree, but this is how I've learned it, and this is what has worked for me. So here. Actually, everything else shifted already, meaning from all the way in the back, in the blade and between your shoulders, already is, has shifted. And then even the elbow has shifted. The last thing to go up is your hand and fingers. So watch in slow motion. Everything has shifted already. And I find that I've had a lot of accuracy doing that. So shifting from the blade and up, Everything else shifted, last minute, boom, the hands. I can talk a little bit more about shifting in another video, but this is sort of like a general gist of some of the things that you have to keep in mind to play this piece well. And it does take practice. This is actually deceptively difficult because of shifting, vibrato, long bow, being, you know, being able to sustain all these things makes it really hard to sound good but keep working i'm sure you do better and better every day i hope this video is helpful and if you did find it helpful please give me a big thumbs up because that really helps me out with the algorithm and more people will get to see the video and if you want to support me consider supporting me on patreon you can be one dollar two dollar three dollars to a hundred dollars to support me and then of course you can support me by purchasing my album passion on wendylaw.com or watch my other videos which i'll link right here and right below thank you so much and i'll see you next time Mwah! bye